Imagine if we could mix the versatility of a TTL Speedlight with the practicality of a full-blown studio flash system. Well, imagine no longer. The clever guys at Profoto have come along with the B1 monoblock light, and it does exactly that. We're here today in Wild West London to shoot some fashion, so let's see how they shape up. Okay, so we're here today to shoot some fashion. We've got the amazing Profoto kit uh, to use the Profoto B1s. Uh, look at this. This is a little rucksack, light as a feather. It's a two head kit, this. Um, uh, basically, everything you need for a full shoot. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, can we give it to Tony? Hang on a sec. So yeah, we're going to be shooting uh, a Milli today, great model from Storm Model Lens in London. Um, uh, we've got the, the right kit for the right location, thanks Tony. Um, uh, these B1s, for anybody that's not familiar with them by now, um, they are a thing of beauty. 500 watt seconds each, so immeasurably more powerful than your speed lights, uh, and they're a really, really decent bit of kit. First of all, they feel really solid. I mean, this feels like I could drop it. I'm not about to, um, but they feel like I could drop them many times on location, and they're not going to break or die on me. Um, uh, I love this feature. Look at this. Look at that. That is the battery. Absolutely beautiful. Just a tiny little thing like that. Um, should be giving you up to 220 flashes at full power, which is a lot of power. I mean, it really is. Um, uh, next. Controls. Check out the controls, absolutely beautiful. Again, Profoto have really done a good job with this. Very simple to use. I opened it the other day. I've only had these things for a couple of days. I opened it up the other day, didn't purposely didn't read the manual, um, uh, had a look at it, and within minutes I, I could understand the entire thing. So, extremely good stuff. I'm looking forward to it very much. So, I just want to talk you through a few of the features. Um, as I said before, this light is not a complicated light to use at all. It's a beautifully simple bit of kit. Um, uh, it's a monoblock, so you don't have the issues of a pack and a cable and so on. The first feature I like, um, let's have a look here. Test button, hold it down, all comes alive, wonderful stuff, it's all on. Uh, another lovely feature, this is the lovely modeling bulb, which is completely cold. It's an LED light, so it's completely cold, beautifully balanced, lovely little light. Could even use it for a bit of a video, I think. Um, and then, just in terms of general features, something that I've always loved about Profoto. Profoto started out in 19, I think it's 1968. Um, in 68, they designed this clasp, which um, uh, works with every single light they've ever done ever since, which is an amazing bit of design. It is, without a doubt, and I've tried many, is it, without a doubt, the very, very best connection method for uh, light shapers for any um, head. And they all work with all the lights, studio, big, small, location, everything. Watch this. There it goes. Slide it on. Clamp it down. The other nice thing about it is that you can flick that up, move it closer, further away. They normally have this number system or something that they do here, sure enough. Just enables you to set them at a slightly different level to get a different feel for the lights. Really nice feature. Okay, so let me talk you through the control panel. Um, very simple, as I've already said, very easy to use. First of all, the test on-off button, quite simply, it either on-offs or alternatively, it'll give you a test flash, which is always handy. Um, next of all, the uh, modeling light variations. Most of these buttons have a, a long hold and a short hold facility, so a short hold will change it, a long hold will give you, often give you different facilities within the, within the button. So, First of all, 300%, which means that the, the modeling bulb will be on, uh, on full blast all the time, continuously, regardless of what happens with the flash. You can then uh, go to proportional, which means that the modeling bulb will vary depending on, on how you set it. As you reset the light, the modeling bulb will change with it, so the modeling, modeling bulb will get brighter and darker depending on what the setting of the flash setting is. And then um, uh, just another feature that's kind of quite nice on the free, if you hold in the free, like that, like that. 
then you're able to change your free setting. So you can actually have um, a free light, in other words, it doesn't change with the power setting, but you can set it up to a much lower setting. It's handy if you don't want to have too much ambient light in the room. Okay, so uh, the sink unit. This is the bit, the heart of the system, really. This is why we're here today, because um, it's very, very clever, fundamentally. Um, first of all, it has, uh, let me just show you the, the boring bit, slave. Um, slave is the normal, traditional slave method that you would normally use. So you connect to one light, one light goes off, the other light picks up on the blast of light that comes out of the flash. Slave unit is here. Um, nothing um, wonderful about that. It's a nice unit, but they all have it. Uh, the big deal is air. Um, air is the bit that we're all talking about. It connects to their uh, to the Profoto um, air unit, and this is really the heart of the system. This little baby goes on top of the camera, uh, and from this unit, I can control each light individually. Um, there are three groups, um, each of which has eight lights. So you, you have three groups and eight lights for each group which gives you a total of uh, a hell of a lot. God knows how many, far more than you're ever going to need. And you can operate the entire system from on the camera. Now that is unique. It's the only system in the world that does that, certainly as far as I know. Um, and it does it extremely well. Or maybe it doesn't. Let's find out today. Okay, this is the lovely Millie who's modelling for us today. She's with Storm Model Agency in London. Um, uh, she um, looks lovely. We're, about to, we're waiting for our mega artist to to rejoin us, so let's put some money in that car. Okay, let's go. Okay, um, just to give you an idea of what we can do, a bit of remote control here. Um, from the camera itself, with the use of the button here, we select the, uh, the group and the number, it's, this is uh, 1A, uh, and then bang, modern light off, bang, modern light on. Pretty good. Same applies to the power. Uh, we can reset the power, we can change it up, change it down, adjust each one of them individually. We just change the group to do the other head, we just change the group, um, and uh, yeah, it works very well. a good example of, of what this light's good at. At the moment my face is burning out a little bit too much so I just want to soften this light down. So I choose uh, group B here um, and then I dial in, let me show you, I choose group B here, this light over here, let me just dial it down, this will go down to we're now minus one stop on that light, we can go that far if we want to. Okay guys now um, change both the heads to freeze from the normal setting. Um, the advantage of this should be a very, very fast flash duration um, and a bit of freeze action. That is awesome. We can actually track her with the light and because of the TTL, it adjusts as she moves. This is a completely different way of shooting. I love it. It's really good. Okay, let's go. Here's a really unique feature. The model's walking towards me, I'm tracking back with her, the light is not moving. This is pure TTL genius as it changes with every single frame we shoot. That's unique. So, what do we think of the Profoto B1s? Absolutely amazing. I'm so blown away by them. Give you a totally different way to shoot. You can adjust from camera up, down, every which way. They're lightweight, they last forever. What an amazing bit of kit, very, very impressed. 